Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening! This School of Hard Knocks fight is a professional bout in the 185 pound weight class and is brought to you by Phantom Shots. And now, let's meet the fighters. Elias Theodorus came in at 183.5 pounds. Steve Hodgson at 184. Both of these guys have a history here. from Mississauga, Ontario. Please welcome Elias Theodoro. Elias Theodoro comes in. We saw him last at Hard Knocks 12, where he won his pro debut in impressive fashion against Tanner the Tank Coleman. 3-0 as an amateur a mixed martial artist, 1-0 as a pro, 12-0 in kickboxing, and that includes trips. Making his pro debut as he comes in 2 and 0 oh as an amateur, and again, no stranger to Hard Knocks fans. Yeah, Steve Hodgson uh, fought Hard Knocks once under the old amateur rules, which are much more similar to the pro rules. They allowed striking to the head on the ground, uh, no knees or elbows to the head at any time. Uh, but it was the uh, intervention of the commission in the amateur game. He continued to fight at Hard Knocks but as, a, as an amateur and then moved on now as a pro. Very uh, heavy striker, uh, not as disciplined as the class that he trains. Uh, Elias Theodora is. Uh, Steve Hodgson looking like he's in the best shape we've ever seen him in the Hard Knocks cave. And he does have a win uh, by way of submission in his amateur career. Uh, over in the first ever hard knocks, but that came basically as a result of some very powerful striking and then capitalizing on the ground with the rear naked choke. Well, and he said he wants to let loose. He wants to stand and bang. He says that he loves to get the crowd going, and the easiest way to do that is to punch somebody else in the face, and he's looking to do that. On the other side, a very game striker in Elias Theodoro. We saw it, uh, a very well-rounded effort from him last time that he was out. Uh, he says he knows Steve Hodgson is a brawler. He knows that he'll come in looking to knock him out, and he said he's happy to take that and fight that as long as he needs to and has no fear taking this fight to the ground. And now for the official fighter introductions. He's fighting in the Blind Monk Urban Pub Blue Corner. He's 23 years old, stands 6 feet 1 inches tall. He weighed in at 183 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Gross Gym in Mississauga. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Elias Theodoro! <laughs> the hometown fan's no fan of Elias and Theodoro. From the two amigos and company red corner, he comes to us at 33 years old and stands six feet, one inches tall. He weighed in at 184 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Knuckles MMA in Calgary. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Steve the Butcher Hardson. Uh, you can hear, you can hear the hometown fans. This will be contested fans. under professional rules. The referee in charge of the action is Vern Gorman. Gentlemen, you're both aware of the rules. Remember to my commands at all times. Remember to protect yourself at all times. Fight clean, fight hard. Touch him up, come out on my command. 
Vern Gorman, our referee, as he gets ready for our co-main event of the evening as Elias Theodoro and Steve the Butcher Hodgson get set to meet in the center of the cage. They touch gloves and immediately a high kick thrown by Elias and Hodgson decides to take the game to the ground. Yeah, Eli Theodoro taking the underhooks right away as soon as Hodgson uh, made contact with him and taking him down. You know, a lot of fighters rest when you get that upper body clinch type scenario. Theodore is doing a good job of taking advantage of the position immediately and getting that bear hug style takedown and jumping right to side control once he did it. Theodoro on top in the white trunks, Hodgson in the black trunks. Hodgson manages to reverse the position from side control and now they battle in the center of the cage with Hodgson throwing knees and Theodoro securing another takedown. Yeah, Theodore did a great job there. He was in the disadvantaged position with the double uh, underhooks uh, by Hodgson, but did a good job dropping his hips, pinching those elbows down, and making it his position. And again, Theodoro continuing to work on top, has a full mount now, and we'll see what he can do with it. We saw what he could do with it against Tanner Tolman as he started to rain elbows down, and we'll see if the game plan is similar here against Steve Hodgson. Yeah, don't let Elias Theodoro get loose on top of you. He'll start your head like a lawnmower. And now looking for the arm bar. He's got Elias that straight. Theodoro, and the tap hasn't come yet from Steve Hodgson. A very nice defense of that arm bar as Theodoro decides to let it go and stands back up. Yeah, I thought uh, Hodgson, oh, there's a strike to the groin. That's accidental. Uh, Hodgson winding up hard for an uppercut to the body and just not being disciplined with where it was. Uh, Theodoro will get five minutes if he needs it to recover uh, as both fighters go to neutral corners. Gave him a warning, so says the official. No point deducted, like you said, an accidental low blow, although it uh, doesn't matter if it's an accident or not. You, you get hit there, it's still no fun. Yeah, it certainly doesn't change the, uh, the impact that you're faced with. And Theodore, again, despite the kickboxing thoroughbred uh, or, 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 uh, or upbringing, he gets right into the takedown again and puts Hodgson's on, Hodgson on his back. Well, he claims that this isn't a hobby. This is what he intends to do for a living. So Elias Theodoro keeps this very, uh, takes this very seriously and is working a different aspect of his game than we might have been used to. Well, you know, if my job uh, involved me having my shirt off, I'd have abs like that as well. <laughs> yeah, and there's Theodore putting on those mean-looking elbows, not landing yet. But man, that's not a guy you want on top of you in the full mount. No, and he's got, he had both hooks in momentarily, although Hodgson again managing to escape and has done a good job of that here throughout the first round, managing to uh, limit the damage Theodoro's been able to do, even though he's been in a more dominant position for the majority of the round. And Theodore doing a good job of making the decision of when he's on his back or when he's working that submission. If it gets loose, if he loses that dominant position, hey, let's go back to our feet. I'm comfortable there, and I know I can take you down. And no. there he does so again. Maybe a guillotine choke, although it looks like Elias is uh, able to hold off Hodgson's other hand. Oh, he's got, Hodgson's got that fairly deep, and now Theodora on the run trying to get his leg loose of that guard, and he has, so he'll get out to side mount, but that was a close call for Elias Theodoro and manages to pull his head free now and throws a punch on the way out. And he'll go to full mount again in this round. Quickly to a full mount, and now he's gonna, he landed the one punch there, but so far, effective defense from Hodgson. Now Theodoro looking to pin a knee down and take Hodgson out as he's got a knee on the one shoulder briefly. Hodgson able to pull him a little closer, but now the elbows and punches start to and come down. And blood coming now and you from... you can see uh, the cut on the forehead of Hodgson. And that cut's in a pretty safe spot on the, on the edge of the eye, but those things can spread in the wrong direction like a crack in your windshield. Still a sharp elbow coming down and blood really now starting to come out of the face of Hodgson and Theodoro landed a punch there that saw Hodgson's head wobble a little 
but still intelligently defending is, uh, is Steve Hodgson as Elias Theodoro looking to open up the mouse that's currently living under the skin of Hodgson. Yeah, you see Theodore seeing that cut and uh, deciding maybe I don't need to throw these big strikes. I'm going to get on that with some short elbows and open it up a bit, make life uncomfortable for Steve Hodgson. Here's the big punches coming now. Well, and a cut is nothing more than a target. I, I mean, uh, 10 seconds remain in the first round, but Elias Theodoro continuing to rain punches, trying to finish this before the bell, and maybe un is unable to do so. But Steve Hodgson in some real trouble at the end of that round, finds himself with a big cut on his forehead, and Elias Theodoro may have, well, should have won that first round. Yeah, I mean, that's a dominant round for, uh, for Elias Theodoro, with the exception of the fact that uh, Steve Hodgson had that half guard guillotine and had a chance to finish it, uh, and probably was the closest to finishing the fight in that round even though uh, Elias Theodoro was the dominant fighter and, and put some pretty devastating ground and pound down, I think Hodgson had the best chance to win the fight. That being said, the balance of the round definitely goes to Theodoro, and on the scorecards, he'll be your leader. And you can see the coaches coming in and the fight doctor coming in to uh, take a look at the cut on Hodgson's forehead. I can't imagine that's uh, gonna be bad enough to stop the fight, but in the short term, they are cleaning him up some and trying to get him ready. Not a, uh, a great job of cleaning off his face, still a lot of blood there, but uh, nevertheless, uh, looks like the cut, uh, they may have closed it temporarily. You know, sometimes closing a cut's like making your bed in the morning. You're just gonna get on it again. It's just gonna be a mess, so why do you bother, right? <laughs> you gotta think if you can stop the flow for even a moment. All right, there we go. He wants calling in the doctor again to get a good look at it. You know, the, the referee is doing the right thing here. We've already got a break. We're in between rounds. Let's get a look at that cut. Let's make sure it's safe again. And let's get started again. Because there was a lot of blood, you're right, still coming from that cut after the round ended, and that's going to be a concern for the referee. Also a fair amount of water on the floor. The referee unhappy with the corner of Elias Theodoro saying they didn't clean up the way they should have. So, oh, uh, and a heavy leg kick from that, Elias Theodoro. That was a, start. a hurting leg kick. And then throws a head kick to go with it. The kickboxing coming out now from Elias Theodoro. And then he gets up close and personal, driving Hodgson up against the cage. Hodgson trying to look for those underhooks. And last year, moving one. to uh, a high crotch position or an outside head single leg, and he gets it. Puts Hodgson on the ground again. Hodgson seemingly with no defense for Theodoro's takedowns to this point. Yeah, you know, I think Theodoro's thinking, you know, he started that round. I think he was thinking, I'm going to get him thinking about the takedown. I'm going to beat him up on his feet, but he easily moves to mount now. Well, and a very quick pass to mount, and it may have been a little bit of possum there as you saw him back off like he was going to stand up and then quickly slide into the mount. Now he's got the back of Hodgson. And that choke is in and pretty deep. And the choke is in deep. This should not be long before Steve Hodgson And there is it done. is. It's over. Elias Theodoro in dominating fashion for the second time here at Hard Knocks Fighting, works a ground and pound into a second round rear naked choke, a dominant win for Elias Theodoro. And at the risk of a lawsuit, I'll say it, it is all over. <laughs> uh, I'll pretend I didn't hear. And Elias Theodoro looking like he could go the, uh, the championship rounds if he needed to. Well, and still that's, very fit, still breathing easily. We, much easier to be that way when you control a fight that dominantly. Again, a marathon runner who trains MMA six hours a day. So uh, this guy is ready to go. And you can see as we work towards the end of the fight here, as Elias Theodoro dropping the hammer and then quickly transitioning into a position where he had Hodgson's back, locks in the choke, and the fight is over. And Elias Theodoro having uh, a very unique barbed wire tattoo on his bicep we that I've never seen on an MMA fighter. Brought to you by Phantom Shots. The winner by rear naked 
choke at one minute and 12 seconds in the second round in the blue corner, Elias Theodoro. And again, a very, th very respectful Elias. Steve Hodgson congratulating his, uh, his opponent. Elias, at the weigh-in, we talked about uh, what you do outside of uh, mixed martial arts, and you told me that you also run marathons, and you said that the key to any sport is conditioning. How did that help your win tonight? Oh, it, it honestly was uh, pretty much 90%. Uh, actually, 50, I'd say it was conditioning and mental conditioning. That's what it, it all comes down to. If, if you put the 9 to 5, as I do in the, in the gym, and you have that all back, that background and all that, it follows suits. It's 50%, 50-50 mental, and uh, what's it called, conditioning. You brought it all together tonight. Can you walk us through the fight here, Elias? For sure. Well, basically, this is towards, the, I think, the second round, right before the, the submission, but beforehand in the first round, I gotta give it up to him. He was a beast. Like, there was many times I was trying, like, to, as hard as I could to actually finish it. Beast. I couldn't. Uh, it was, again, the conditioning and the cardio that allowed me to break as well in the second. And uh, who are the sponsors we have to thank tonight for this win? Uh, well, right now, it's just uh, me on my own. I'm looking for sponsors. I just, uh, for the next little bit, want to prove myself, and I hope once again I did. Any sponsors, come at me. I'm ready. Let's hear it again for your winner, Elias Theodoro! You know, Elias Theodoro picking up his second consecutive win as a professional in MMA, an experienced kickboxer already, a fighter, uh, with a lot of promise, who is the total package for a sponsor. I mean, if you're out there on the internet world or you're listening to the, the broadcast later on the Fight Network, get behind Elias Theodoro. He's a good, solid athlete with a great set of skills. He's got a good look to him as well, and he's articulate. You want that guy to pronounce your name, you want that guy to talk about your sponsorship, that's a guy you can get behind as a sponsor and get some return on. Yeah, you put your name on his banner and you'll get to see it quite frequently if he continues to fight with the same dedication that he's shown in his first two wins here at the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. That's another good point. There's a guy who says, hey, I'm looking to fight. I want to fight. He's got a good kickboxing record. This guy wants to fight and he wants to fight a lot. You know, look him up. Uh, give the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship a call. They'll put you in touch with them. If you're uh, out there and you're looking to get involved with the fight game and get your business associated with someone's success, uh, get a hold of Elias Theodoro. And maybe we'll get to see one less fighter with Condom Depot on his shorts. And, uh, <laughs> you know, nothing wrong with the, uh, the Condom Depot, but the back of the shorts, an odd place for it to be placed is all I'm saying. You can see here Theodoro really working him over with the elbows and the punches. Hodgson eventually ends up giving up his back, and uh, all of a sudden uh, there was no hesitation from Elias as he sprung his opponent backwards into the cage and was able to lock on that rear naked choke. Again, a very impressive performance here from Elias Theodoro. Yeah, and disappointing for the many, many fans who came up to Steve, see Steve Hodgson. But uh, he's game. He'll be back. Oh, you, you can believe he'll be back. And now.